Mozambique is a country in the southeast of Africa, neighboring South Africa to the south, Zimbabwe to the west, and Tanzania to the north. After gaining independence from the Portuguese in 1975, the country was ravaged by a 16-year civil war, and today remains one of the most underdeveloped and poorest countries in the world. Originally built in 1979, the Kahora Basa Hydroelectric Generation Plant, commonly known as HCB, is situated in the small town of Songa, which is found in the country's Tet province, and is one of Mozambique's most important commercial projects to date, supplying on average 1,500 megawatts of power to South Africa's largest metropolitan city, Johannesburg. Using a high voltage direct current overhead line, the electricity travels over 1,400 kilometers to the Apollo converter station in northern Johannesburg, where it is fed into the city's grid. The export sale of this electricity is a vital income, not only for the Tet province, but for Mozambique as a whole. So when HCB suffered a breakdown of one of its main 75-ton transformers at its substation last August, they were facing a crisis and needed an urgent replacement. The South African utilities company, ESCOM, came to the rescue and offered HCB the use of a spare 130-ton transformer which they had positioned in Johannesburg. At 130 tons, the replacement transformer was substantially heavier than the transformers currently being used at the substation. And if HCB accepted the offer of a larger transformer, their immediate challenge would be to figure out how they could get the unit delivered to their facility in Songa. Loads of this high mass had never before been delivered to the region, and in going out to tender, HCB was aware of the inherent problems facing the potential transporter. Some of these problems included poor and possibly war-damaged infrastructure, compounded by the fact that all records of capacity and design specifications of the bridges and related infrastructure were non-existent. The Songa Pass, which is a narrow road and comprises of sharp bends and in sections has gradients of up to 30%. The rainy season that was fast approaching, traditionally bringing torrential rain and annual flooding to the region, was only three months away. And the political issues of traveling through Zimbabwe. Vanguard, having recently completed a preliminary route assessment for a very similar mission, was in receipt of the inquiry and already well aware of the route's infrastructure problems as they had already devised, in principle, a number of innovative ways around them. This enabled Vanguard to respond with a feasible solution and price to the client within hours of receiving the inquiry. Impressed by Vanguard's plan and price for the execution of the project, HCB, within 24 hours of submitting the inquiry, gave Vanguard the go-ahead. With a can-do attitude, Vanguard assembled a dedicated project team and things swung into action. The project team consisted of BKS consulting engineers who were tasked with finalizing the structural calculations that determined whether certain bridges needed to be structurally propped or bypassed. WBHO who were tasked with building the temporary bridge bypasses. Kelmark who helped to secure all the cross-border paperwork and ARC Consulting, who took on the challenge of gaining the permission and permits from the numerous municipalities and road authorities. In order to keep the imposed stress on the infrastructure en route to a minimum, particularly in Mozambique, it was calculated and agreed upon by Vanguard and BKS that Vanguard would use an 18-axle, two-file gooseneck combination with two Mercedes-Benz prime movers. This in itself posed a further problem in that the trailer combination would, on arrival at the foot of the Songa Pass, be much too heavy and long to negate the very steep and windy haul to the top. Despite the very long trailer, BKS concluded that it would still be necessary to prop 27 bridges en route and to build 9 bypasses. 
This task was assigned to the civil contractor WBHO, for whom it was a race against time. By the time Vanguard and the team were able to give WBHO a defined scope of work, the transformer was already being loaded in Johannesburg and was only weeks away from reaching Mozambique. Vanguard's owners and management team offered no compromise under any circumstance when it came to the project team adhering to the company's strict code of ethics and safety. This is a key factor other companies often fail in, particularly when working in challenging countries like Zimbabwe and Mozambique, where working conditions are isolated and primitive, and with temperatures reaching in excess of 118 degrees Fahrenheit. For reasons known only to those that built it, the Kahura Bassa substation is located at the top of a mountain in the Zambezi Valley, accessible only by the Songa Pass. The Songa Pass in itself was almost a showstopper. There was no way that the 18-axle trailer could negotiate the pass. With a series of hairpin bends and switchbacks, at times reaching gradients of 30%, the transport combination was rendered useless at the foot of the pass. The solution was to transload the transformer at the foot of the pass and reconfigure the trailer into a smaller combination. Vanguard opted for a seven-axle drawbar trailer combination with two prime movers to haul the cargo up the Songa Pass for the last 30 kilometers of the 2,400-kilometer journey. Supported by a logistic team comprising of two semi-trailers stocked with drinking water, food and spares, three pilot vehicles, two low beds with a 44A gantry lift system and accessories, and a crane truck, the 12-man team completed the delivery in just 19 days from the day the transformer was loaded in Johannesburg and only 46 days from the day they received the order. Although not the heaviest of loads that Vanguard has transported, this project was a 2012 highlight for the company, given the reaction time, planning and complexity of circumstances that had to be overcome. It was the team's willingness and commitment to see through what many considered a logistical impossibility that ensured the transformer arrived at HCB substation safely, on time and within budget. Thank you for listening.